반갑습니다. 
that had the game called, it was, you had to pay either 100 US dollars, which would be about, I don't know, 85 euro, or 129 US dollars, which would be about 100 euro. So those are my original goals when I first started. So, we cut to the first day and we play this little, well it's a restaurant really, and um, in my hometown of Utica, New York, and 600 people showed up. I think my mom got on the telephone. 600 people showed up. And we made, and we charged $5 at the door, so which was 3,000 US dollars. So, the day one, we made $3,000. And my dad showed me how much money we made. Now, mind you, they were all in $5 bills, which you would think I was a drug dealer, but I wasn't. Um, there were five dollar bills. And when I saw that, I thought I was like a millionaire. I thought I was set for life. Don't have to work anymore. Right? <laughs> so long paper routes, so long mowing the grass for 30 cents. You know, so long forever, all of that. And I'm sitting down and I'm going, I hit the jackpot. Now the two eleven year old kid, that's like hitting the jackpot. And all of a sudden, like, like Zeus himself, from above, comes a hand, the hand of my mother, grabbing the money, <laughs> going, this money is going into the bank. And you can, you will not be able to touch this. I said, well, what about my Super Nintendo? Because <laughs> mind you, that was my original goal, was to get a Super Nintendo. Eventually, I still had to mow the grass. I still had to deliver papers. I still had to do all the things that a normal kid would have to do to earn the right to spend the money that I earned. But when I got that Super Nintendo, <coughs> I loved that thing. And I still actually own it, really. And I loved that thing, and it made me appreciate it a lot more. And that set into motion um, a series of events that um, started a 20-year career. And shortly after that event, I met a guy named B.B. King. How many people have heard? So, he puts my materials down and a copy of the newspaper. And the newspaper said, on the front cover, local blues boy jams with blues king. And then there's a picture of me and B.B. King on the cover of the local newspaper. And he goes, Mr. Bonamassa, my wife and I were wondering if you'd be so kind as to autograph this newspaper. And right there, ladies and gentlemen, I knew that I could rule that school without the beer. And I could rule that school, and I was like going, this is a very cool job I have. <laughs> and the reason why I tell that story is because a week later, a camera, like you see in here, come up to my school because it was show that they saw me play with B.B. King. And a week after that, I was signed to EMI Records when I was about 13 years old. And that was the beginning of my career, and I recorded for almost 20 years, and it's what they call my big break. And if it wasn't for B.B. King, I would not be standing here today. If it wasn't for B.B. King, I would not have made 11 albums in 20 years, and it, I wouldn't have the, the, the career that I have. What do they say here? So. And I know you are, uh, it's one of your last, I don't know. Oh, yeah. 